Hey guys, happy Monday. It's Cash Flow Coma here, and today we are collecting some quarters. I'm not sure why, but I'm in a really good mood. Here's the laundromat so far. Um, Got to replace that light. Here's our newest addition, even though it's not very new. This is our ancient vending machine that I'm going to... I'm not sure why there's two Diet Cokes there, but... Um, oh, actually, I do know why, but that's a different story. Um, as you can see, there was some interesting modifications made to this guy, and it's also on wheels, which made it exponentially easy to bring in here. I've got to cut this up a little bit, but uh, it'll fit right in there, and that'll be it, and then I'll probably drywall the rest since I've only got junk back there. But uh, yeah, this is what it looks like so far, guys. Um, don't pay attention to those tapes. That, that's, they're not really out. Um, it's just that so, uh, uh, okay, very interesting. Okay, so this is, this is what happens. This is what happens with this. The air intake back there behind in there in the mechanical room is very small, right? It's very, very small. There's also a window back there that I leave open so that, because it needs it. it you just open it and you just feel this, this push of air towards you. And so what I'll do is that I'll tell my employee over the weekend, hey, just open the door, leave it open, because those are smart dryers and they will shut down or stop heating if there's not enough uh, um, replacement air. What's the term for it? Um, airflow, basically. There's not enough air in here. Return air, whatever you call it. There's not enough of it, so leave the door open, and then they'll start marking them out. So they're not actually, they're all working just fine. Um, anyway, here's our good old triple load machines. So I've learned that these are very old, just very ancient mechanical. Um, yeah, the gasket fell on this... Uh, dryer there okay everything seems to be good so far we've repainted these um, just trying to make it look a little brighter a little more open in here um, I used to have some a bunch of old singles that were here and they were all down all seven speed queen top loads that were down and we've put in these three machines in here in its place and I renumbered most of the machines in here, actually. Um, I ran out of A and B, so I had to start using X and Y. So that's 12X, 12Y. <laughs> and uh, painted this wall. We put a wall up there, painted it. And there's going to be a park bench put in here, possibly today. I will admit, I probably need one or two more folding tables. Um, there's just not enough. These are some custom tables that the original owners built. We, we take care of them. There could be another, maybe one more very small folding table like that placed right there. But honestly, guys, I'm running out of space. I mean, I don't really have anywhere to put my carts. I mean, they're just kind of left anywhere at random. You can see how small this laundromat really is when I actually show you and do a full walkthrough. It's about 1,200 square feet. So, um, yeah, and then it's just this part here. And then that window is open, and this one just came up with an F13 code. Not a problem. Uh, yeah, this is what's so nice about these newer machines is that if you have a code, you at least have some kind of idea within like a one of three possibility, you know what's wrong with the machine. Um, yeah, I like Dexter a lot. That's just kind of what I was inherited with. If I would have had, if this place would have been a bunch of hip machines, then I would have been fine with that too. But, um, yeah, bathroom where I just spoke about the infamous scene last night is now customers only. And why the hell is the sign off? I had a sign taped on there, whatever. Um, yeah, a bunch of new products, but anyway, we are just going to kind of go ahead and do some quarter collecting. And I'm going to do this on the fly, really, too, because I've got to get going. Oh, yeah. Thank you. 
A lot of times people say, your laundromat is so dirty. Well, that's how you know that uh, it was getting a lot of use maybe. I guess if it was always clean, you'd start to question if people are really even using it. At least I know for a fact that mine are being used. All right, and see, I also just got really tired of, of this. Like people just like pretty much camping out right in front of the machine they're using. And you know, it's just annoying if you're trying to walk through or something. And yeah, that's something especially that I found out with these um, smaller laundromats is that there's just a lack of space and you're, it's annoying bobbing and weaving out of people and Oh, well that one's out. But, um, you know, for these couple of top loaders, I mean, I thought about, like, maybe, maybe keeping them, or, no, excuse me, I thought about ripping them all out and putting, like, some 60 pounders in here, like, like, two or three 60 pounders, or, or maybe leaving those three and then taking these three out and putting like one 60 pounder or, or two of them. Um, but honestly, I'm just, uh, to be honest, I'm just kind of done putting money in this place. I'm, I'm just going to kind of roll with it right now. They're just going to, you know, and oftentimes I find that they enjoy using the, uh, they enjoy using single pounders. This one was out actually, so somebody ripped the tape off and accidentally put money in there. And then it didn't work and they probably got all pissed off. I mean, we have stickers there. I mean, can't force people to read though. And I also, I've also learned about like, about I guess how retro it is to see these older laundromats being used or, or older machines rather. Many machines, I know some machines, and this must be also just so convenient, are cashless. Many laundromats, especially on the higher end, they're completely cashless. Um, they have credit card readers on all of them, or no, what, what, what it is is that you'll, especially in a nice one, which I have been in a nice one that we have around here, uh, you go and put money in a card, and then pretty much the guy's got your money at that point. But, um... But, um, yeah, so the guy's got your money at that point, and then you can use the card on a machine. You just place it right up on the machine, on the, uh, the card reader, and it, it works on his vending machines and everything. He's got a pool table in there. He's got, some of them I, I see lazy boys are like, kind of like massaging chairs, I guess, and people will do that. And yeah, there's just all kinds of ways that you can make money in, in these laundromats. Um. Advertising, I'm offering advertising here, up on here, and then possibly on these walls as well. So I, I hope to get, well, I'm not gonna put a certain amount on it. I could be way off, I could be not enough. There's there's no telling right now. But the, one of the best investments that actually brings in more revenue are, has been these machines here, even though one of them's out, because it's got a freaking leak. But uh, yeah, guys, th these, I mean, look at that, you know? These actually bring in a lot of revenue. And I think these are probably beating the new dryers and everything. So. Yeah. There we go. This is all... Um, so, Saturday morning through Sunday night, really. And then I think these were used as well. A little bit. Yeah. One thing too that I tell my employee, one thing too that I've been telling my employee too, I say, you know, if a machine's acting up or something's wrong with it, you know, like a quarter will get stuck and then she'll just mark the machine out. Like, you know, maybe beat on it a little bit, maybe tap it a little bit, maybe try to get it out with like a little tool that we have to get a stuck quarter out, but don't fricking mark the machine out. It's making money. And that just, I'm not gonna lie, that's annoying. You know, there's little, there'll literally be nothing wrong with the machine. Like a quarter stuck, and then she'll mark the machine out. 
I'll say, you know, <laughs> need not do that. But, you know, it's not a perfect world. There aren't, uh, there aren't perfect employees, are there? I see stuff happening all the time on, uh, this one's empty, but I'm going to check it anyway. I see stuff happening all the time in the laundromat owners Facebook group. People, employees stealing, employees uh, learning the mechanics of the machine and flicking on the machine to do a free wash and fold. Well, a wash and fold, but then they'll pocket all of it. Yeah. And they'll freaking pocket all of the money. But, you know. There's some good employees too. I'm not sure where they're at, but. They're out there, I'm sure. Also, now I'm missing the keys because I, I lost some keys and now I'm, I'm missing some keys to those lint uh, things there, down there. That's about $800 right there. Yeah, speaking of. Talk about missing missing keys and missing missing uh well yeah keys. So get this. I had my car broken into about two weeks ago and I had to replace the glass and I didn't realize that that day I had to change out just these dryer's keys and so I had them in my backpack which got stolen. So these are not the factory keys. Um the factory locks rather. These are not them because they don't open them because I went and bought them from the original manual. These are some old like HZ model machines, HZ 3Q or something like that. Um, yeah, HZ 3Q, something like that. So uh, I don't have a key to open. This one doesn't need a key, it just opens on its own, but those couple do. So now I don't have a key for this, and I also don't have a key for the cash box. So now this thing is absolutely full of quarters. And I'm lucky that it hasn't gotten jammed. Before I left Friday, uh, I went ahead and went up to all the machines and just started beating on all of them to just get the quarters. Because what happens is the cash box won't fill up evenly. I'm sure you all laundromat owners know. It'll all stack up in this corner, and then it gets clogged right there, and it won't work anymore. Uh, so I just went and just just started beating on them. And, uh, yeah, so I'm in quite a pickle right now. Um, I'm also having some better stickers come in. Um, just, you know, these things kind of help. You'll learn that these things really help with people. A simple little note like that could save you and your employee a lot of trouble. Um, and I don't see any in there because yeah, I hate it when people do that. Like they'll just be on the floor and there's just, there's just zero integrity, zero. So having a little sticker like this does help actually. And it costed me nothing to put on there. All right. And I'm sure y'all know what time it is. It is my favorite time of this video, the triples, because I know what these things can do. Yes, sir. Great. Also, what do you guys think of this lo-fi music? I don't know if I can get in trouble on YouTube for playing this, but this is lo-fi music. There's no lyrics. There's no... Like, it's, it's just kind of nice to have like a very neutral, just kind of sound currently playing at all times. Don't know if you can hear it. It's chill, you know, it's chill. It's, I mean, it's better than hearing the same couple of top hits play. You know, if I just say, Alexa, play music, you know, it's, it's, it's just, best it's better to not hear like freaking cardi b every like hour or so okay now that row's done this guy is possibly my best because he's the front and corner machine people are intimidated when they come into a laundromat they're just going to go to the first machine they see that one is absolutely their favorite or possibly 
its friend next door. This guy will also be, look at that. Oh, wow, I think that's the most I've ever seen a, a coin box. How did that not get full? Awesome. Wow. Okay, and nothing was, no, I don't see any problem. Our quarter's stuck, right? Oh, good. Okay. Again. Okay. And actually, I need to change the prices. I've been meaning to do that. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. This is going to get fixed today, hopefully. Maybe. I can't wait to have this on. Uh, convenience store next door is going to get pissed off at me, but hey, man, I got to make money too. Um, and then I have this little guy. You know, this guy will bust out like $15, $20 on a good weekend. You know, that's pretty awesome. And uh, oh, the vending machine. Okay. Okay. I, uh, you know. Looking back, if I probably would have saved money, I probably would have started, like, made more money if I would have bought a bigger machine, but then it wouldn't have fit in here so perfectly. Like, this was, I did no modifications for this. All I had was a dryer removed that would, didn't work when I replaced all my dryers. But this thing just fit absolutely perfectly in here. It's, I mean, that's, look at that fit. Look at that fit. We did nothing to it. Nothing. And, you know, I don't get to fit all the products I want in there, but, you know, powdered bags, uh, our dollar boxes, $3 uh, for 20 sheet dryers. I need to put trash bags in here. That's what I've seen other people do. I need to put trash bags in there, just like single bags, and then they put a rubber band about, around them and charge them 75 cents or a dollar. And then I have our bigger products. We're sold out on the blue Suave Tail. They love that. Okay. Note taken. They love blue Suave Tail. Um, they'll buy those. They'll buy the yellow too. They all kind of sell. I only put stuff I sell in here. So let's go ahead and check this guy out. And they normally pay with quarters, so I don't expect a lot out of here. Oh, that's a good amount though. That's respectable. For a weekend anyway. Okay. And then this guy should be pretty, yeah, it's a little bit. Okay. Hopefully there's no nickels under or dimes in here. I'm going to keep an eye on it. Cool. And, uh, you know, I'd love to do, uh, I'd love to bring people on a, on a coin collection with me. I know that's a thing too. I'm, uh, I'll bring, I'll, I'll have like a friend or something with me. We'll, we'll make these a little more interesting. Be able to have like a conversation as if people, other people are actually here instead of just me monologuing. And then this guy, I think... I checked on it uh, Friday or Saturday. Hold on, I'm just gonna. You have to pull this up. Okay. Yeah. Okay, not as much, not as much as regular, but we're gonna go ahead and pull this out here. I really don't want to move it. Hold on. Okay, so I uh, I didn't. I only took the couple of quarters I didn't make it into the tray in there. If you don't believe me, that's fine. But this is what it did this weekend. Okay, so not quite $15 or $20. Maybe like $5 or less. But we're just going to dump that in there. Hold on, let me do this. All right, guys, so there's our bucket of quarters. Not bad for one weekend. Now the moment of truth that I know everyone loves seeing. Okay, 
absolutely drained. Wow, barely made it. This is pretty much the same as a vending machine uh, bill acceptor, except it holds a lot more. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to. And there is our weekend pay. Awesome. Okay, so now that I'm done counting it, we have 100 from dry cleaning. And you know, I will say, I will say, it is nice to have an employee that you can you can trust. And I, I have been proven to, I, I can trust her. You know, the 20s stay in there. And I do watch her. I have a ring camera in that office. I do watch her. And, you know, it is nice having someone that you can trust. So not employees are good. Some things they had do have some things that are bad about them. My employee is on the better side, and I'm thankful for that, in my opinion. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, and 90. 790 this weekend. Not to mention the quarters, which I mean, every month or so I'll take, I'll roll them up, and I'll do that whole thing. And it's like a two hour process, and I'll take around four to five hundred dollars a month. So if we break it down, we could probably add another $100 for this evenly. It comes out to, I mean, if you were to divide it by a week, it would probably be around $100 extra per week. So um, maybe more. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that. But for right now, cash, we're going to say $790 this weekend. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. Um, if you like these kind of videos let me know in the comments be sure to like this video share it with a friend subscribe if you're brand new around here and we'll see you in the next one take care